Hello everyone. Welcome to Coaching for Change. My name is Jennifer Smith and I'm a public health outreach coordinator with Colorado Alliance of Resilient and Equitable Systems or CoCares, supporting the healthcare and public health workforce. So the NIOSH Worker Wellbeing Questionnaire is what we're going to be going over today. It was created by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, along with the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health, or NIOSH. Our purpose here in doing these videos are really to locate resource research and present the best free resources available to healthcare workers across Colorado. And we want to present them in short informational videos so that you can take a look at the video and decide if the resource fits your needs without having to do a lot of reading or a lot of um, research on your own. And we want to just increase awareness of these wonderful resources and explain them so that everyone understands and can choose if this is the right thing for what you're looking for. So we're starting off with the NIOSH Worker Wellbeing Questionnaire. Um, they also call it the WellBQ on their website. The questionnaire comprises the five domains of worker and well-being identified by the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health, NIOSH, and the RAND Corporation. So you can see their graphic here of all the domains that they covered in their, um, in their questionnaire. So it really um, talks about work evaluation and experience, workplace policies and culture, workplace physical environment and safety climate, health status, home, community, and society. So they go into all these domains for the questionnaire. You may be interested maybe more in a certain uh, topic versus all of them, but I think it's always good information to get from your employees to see how you're doing and how they feel about all these different domains. So how to, work, how to use the questionnaire. So they say it will take about 15 minutes to complete give or take, probably depends on who you're giving it to and, and things like that. The Institute recommends administering the questionnaire as a whole and not skipping questions. So again, I wouldn't divide it up. I would just give the whole thing, even if you're just trying to look at a few certain points. There are 15 optional demographic questions at the end of the questionnaire. They say you can exclude these. You can edit them out um, or add to if you had questions maybe to add or if you just wanted to do a couple of them. You probably know um, don't need demographic information on your actual team. The questionnaire may be freely reproduced, reprinted, and distributed, so you can use it as you need to. The questionnaire is also available in Spanish. And here's a screenshot of the questionnaire. So you can see how they kind of organize it, right? Um, so how often do you experience these feelings when you're working and they go through a different um, all these different ranges of uh, feelings. And you can say never, almost never, rarely, sometimes, often, very often, and always. And then the other questions. So how often do you experience fatigue when you are working? My work inspires me. And you can choose, again, the same never, almost never, rarely, sometimes, often, very often, and always. So again, it has those are the types of questions you can see. Um, and it's printed out pretty um, easy to understand how to fill it out. And so why use the worker well-being questionnaire? So NIOSH provides an integrated assessment of worker well-being across multiple spheres. So they talk about quality of working life, circumstances outside of work, physical and mental health status. So the questionnaire measures work, worker well-being kind of as a holistic construct. It's really intended to help understand the well-being of workers and target interventions to improve worker well-being among other applications. So it really goes into the whole person, right? The quality of work in the actual workplace, how factors are affecting you outside of work, not only your physical health, but your mental health as well. So what to do with questionnaire results. So they recommend that you can apply questionnaire results to evaluate their workplace environment, you can set benchmarks for an organization or workforce. You can examine changes over time or assess the impact of interventions, which is great. So you can do this before changes and then after changes and see what different results you get. You compare, can compare results between groups within the same facility or workforce or across organizations or working populations. So 
you had, you know, different groups that work differently in the same facility, you can really see like what the difference is between those. If you have multiple facilities, maybe in one organization, you can really see how it differs in different um, facilities and locations. So again, that was a quick overview of the NIOSH Worker Wellbeing Questionnaire. Again, you can check out their website, which is the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health. Um, it does include the questionnaire if you want to look at it in full. It's at cdc.gov slash NIOSH, which is N-I-O-S-H. So I would definitely recommend going there, checking out more information on the questionnaire, printing out the questionnaire. I would do it for yourself so you can see how it looks, how the results come out. They do have all the information in there about how to score and get your results. And then you can contact us, the CoCares team, at co-cares.org for more information or if you have any questions. And I just recommend that you go check this out if it sounded like something that might work in your organization or team or facility. And thank you so much for watching us today. Take care.